I'm at Ubojo now. Today is Friday. Praise God. Now, we'll, let, let, let's see how we can finish this. Oh, praise God. Now then, we've been talking about the attitude that enhances the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise God. So, he, he, he's been saying what you should add to your faith. And I said, it's your responsibility to add these things. Now, we've got into, we've talked about virtue, which is excellence, which is class. And it says to virtue, you should add what? Knowledge. And to knowledge, self-control. And to self-control, patience. Praise God. Now, we're in verse 6, 2 Peter chapter 2. And to temperance, patience. And to patience, godliness. Godliness. Now, why, why is it necessary you add godliness? Because you are not going to do anything wrong in the process. You know why? Because Satan is going to come to interfere with your faith. Remember, Jesus is the author and the finisher. Now, he has authored it. And you are in the process to get to the finish line of that faith. And Satan would want to come in between. Hey, sister, there is this option that you can have. And you will get that thing by the snap of the finger. Ah, godliness. <laughs> Praise God. Godliness. No, I'm going to add godliness to it. Praise God. I'm adding godliness. So, hey, there's this option. Oh, if you just, you know, just do this thing quickly. Nobody's going to know. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. He said I should add what? Godliness. Praise God. You know why? Because this testimony that I'm going to share at the end of my faith, it's going to be full of godliness. You know, it's go I'm going to tell all the details concerning it. Praise God. Now that's how it works. Praise God. Then he says, and to godliness, brotherly kindness. Oh, oh, this is, this is, this is awesome. Now, you are, you are being godly. You are, you are being patient. You are being self-controlled. You, you are just working these things out. And then he said, add brotherly kindness. Now, there's a reason he didn't say love. He, he just he made it clear. Brotherly kindness. Now, what is brotherly kindness? Being kind to someone else. In other words, take some, do an action. Take something. You know, this is a prophetic action, actually. Give. This is the area you give. There is nothing you believe God for that you don't get down to you giving. I'm telling you the truth. How? Because Jesus said, give and it shall be given unto you. Now, if Jesus said you get something, it means, it means that that thing will be given to you. Now, if that thing is going to be given to you, you will just realize, I'm telling you, now I'm not telling you to give anything right now. What I'm trying to tell you is that at the end of the process, if you're following the Lord, you will notice that in the process, there was a time there was an instruction for you to give something. See, so you will find someone in need. You will find, and when it happens, you will hear the voice of God prompting you. Say, you know what? Help that person. It may be you're believing God for a car. And maybe you've had some money saved up somewhere, whatever. And then someone else comes that is in need. Maybe, maybe his car just broke down. You know God has a way of arranging this thing. His car just broke down and he needs a, a, a fraction of the money you have. And you have that money. Oh, no, no, no. I'm saving this money for my own car. Ah, no, no, no. Hey, if what you have is going to fix that brother's car or that sister's car, you know what you do? Give brotherly kindness. So what should I do? You go before the Lord and say, Lord, I'm, I'm considering helping this brother fix his car. You know, I just want to talk to you about it. So it must it be everything you talk to God about? Yes! The Bible says, in all your ways, acknowledge him. And what's going to happen? Oh, he will direct your Heart. You know, that's why some of us give and we'll see instant results. It, it's not because, um, you know, people say it's a principle of giving. No, it's not. There is no principle of giving. There is a relationship that works giving. See, you know, people say principle, you know, so do step one and step two will happen. Come on. There are people who have followed all those principles and they are in sorrow today. What is missing there? Relationship. See? So, brotherly kindness doesn't just mean everybody that comes to you. Hey, sorry, my, my, my tire is flat. Okay, send me account number. You send the person money. Hey, that's stupidity. 
Now, you see someone in real need. It, 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 it just happens that way that when you're believing God for something, you just encounter someone who's believing God for something like that, maybe in a smaller measure than what you're believing God for. And you can fix it for that person. You go before the Lord. Even when you're talking to the person, you can just say, Lord, what do you think? I, I feel like helping this person right now. If the Lord doesn't want you to do it, you will hear, just like the scripture says, you will hear a voice behind you say, stop. This is the way walk in it. But when you feel that, 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 that peace in your heart to go ahead, and sometimes you even hear the word of the Lord, and sometimes you may not even hear the word of the Lord, but, but you feel that peace in your heart to go ahead. And then you go ahead. Many times, after you are done, the word of God will come to you. Oh, I know what I'm talking about. See, because this is where it is sealed. In the place of brotherly kindness, this is where you get a, you know, you know, just like Abraham. You know, God had promised him. And then one day God said, look, don't take anything from the king of Sodom. And he obeyed God. And the moment he obeyed God, the Bible said, God showed up and said, I am your shield. And you're exceeding great reward. God said, give up Isaac. What had God promised him? Father of many nations. God said, give me Isaac. And he obeyed God. God said, Kai, now I know you love me. You know what? In blessing, I will surely bless you. And today, we are the evidence of that blessing. Praise God. So you will get to this point of brotherly kindness. You will get to the, He will cause you to show love to someone. He will cause you to sacrifice to someone. It may be your neighbor. It may be the person may not even be born again. But you just know that the Lord is leading you to do it. Now, after brotherly kindness, the next thing he says is charity, love. Always walk in love. Praise God. Always. But to those within and to those without, walk in love. Now, look at what he says in verse 8. Watch, and this is where we're going. For if these things be in you and abound, all these things we've been talking about, they, these things, you add in. They make you that you shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. That is, I said, things that enhances your knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is it. Praise God. Listen, go study, read some of these scriptures. There are some scriptures that I've got to close now because of time. But read it. Listen, if you are increasing in the knowledge of Jesus Christ, there is nothing that you're going to miss. That's why you need to enhance, get these things in you. <laughs> Praise God. Hear me. The Spirit of God is guiding your heart this weekend. And I pray that whatever need is in your life, let the Lord Jesus begin you on the faith journey to receiving that thing. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I'll see you next week. God bless you. Bye-bye.